Persons who bank in the Eastern Caribbean can look forward to more money in their accounts in coming months. This after the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, agreed to reduce the minimum savings deposit rate from 3% to 2%. This change is long awaited as the last time interest rates fell was September 2002. The decision was passed by all eight Eastern Caribbean finance ministers on Tuesday. The decision was made against a backdrop of long-running complaints from banks about excess liquidity in the sector, which at the same time face a reduction in demand for loans. In news from Jamaica, National Commercial Bank NCB customers will face a whopping hike in service charges as of March 16, 2015. The bank has announced that they are increasing charges for some in-bank transactions. A new fee of 1,165 Jamaican dollars will be charged to customers who inquire about their account balance via customer care or visiting a branch. This is a massive increase from the 300 Jamaican dollars customers are being charged at present. There will also be increases for bank transfers locally and for foreign accounts. The bank has given no explanation for the rate hike. More news on Jamaica. An international monetary fund IMF team visited Jamaica during February 16 to 25, 2015 to conduct the seventh review of Jamaica's IMF-supported program under the Extended Fund Facility EFF. The IMF says the government of Jamaica's resolute implementation of its economic program centered on strengthening the foundation for growth and employment is starting to yield tangible dividends. The fund cites the significant improvement in business and consumer confidence, which reached a two-year peak in September to December 2014, as one of several signs of a resurgent economy. The IMF also cites that unemployment declined 0.7 percentage points from a year earlier to 14.2% in October 2014, and confidence in Jamaica's economic policies is growing. According to the multilateral agency, Jamaica's economic program is on track and policy implementation remains strong, as all quantitative performance targets through end December were met. However, they, f they find they find as that indicative target on tax revenue was narrowly missed. The IMF's executive board is expected to consider the seventh review of Jamaica's IMF-supported program under the EFF in March. Upon approval, another 40 million U.S. dollars would be made available to Jamaica.